All right. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. Welcome um, to today's class. Good morning. Good evening. If you're from um, uh, Nia, Miyagon, the East uh, Asia, I mean, it should be evening now. But if you're from the US, it should be morning now. So good morning. So sorry, you my, my kids are screaming. And you might hear that <laughs> in this video. So sorry about that. Uh, so, as we enter, can we please mute our microphones? Can we mute our microphones? Okay. All right. Let me mute. All right. So, let me go back. So, we're going to look at exponents today in the GED maths. If you've been following the recording, can you see me right on the screen? Yes. Good. Okay. So if you've been following um, the video recordings, I think I'm going to send the last two classes to us again. All Thanks. right. We have done, we have worked on introduction to algebra, looking at understanding uh, sign, um, uh, you know, integer sign numbers. You know, when you have things like this, negative, 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 how do you come to your answer? We have worked on all this. All this we have worked on, both division, multiplication. This was the assignment I gave the last class. And now we are going into the GED math exponents. All right? Yes. Okay. So for the exponent parts, there are critical things that you need to know. All right? So exponent is when, you know, you have a number raised to another number. All right? This part is called the base, while this number up here is called the exponent. Sometimes in maths, it is also called power. Okay, so this is 4 to the power of 1, all right, or 4 exponent 1. So it depends on the continent you are on, okay, and the teacher also. So oh, the basic point is this is 4 to the power of 1, all right? Now, you should know that anything raised to the power of one is that same number. So two raised to the power of one is two. Hundred raised to the power of one is what? Hundred. What it means is just hundred. When you now do hundred raised to the power of two, it's now hundred times hundred. That's what this means. Hundred raised to the power of two. So how come about exponents? Why do we need it in maths? So if you have like repetitive um, multiplication, like three times three times three times three times three, how do you quickly represent this? This is one, two, three, four, five. So it should be what? Three raised to power five. A five. Okay. Yeah. So you would know anywhere that when you see three raised to power five, it is what? Three times three times three times three times three. Times three. Okay, and you have to solve that out. So this is like three times three is nine. This is nine. This is what three. So nine times this, this is eighty-one. And God, oh my God, uh, uh, okay, sorry. These kids are distracting me. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and eighty-one times three is what? Uh, that will give us three and two. So that's 243. So you know that the value of three raised to the power five is equal to 243. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, the next thing is what you have to know in exponents is that when you now have a negative, you have two raised to the power negative one. How do you represent this? in exponents, in maths, okay? You just invert, all right? So you do one, it becomes one over two raised to the power one, okay? Which will be what? One over two. two. Exam another example, you have two raised to the power negative three. It would be what? One over yeah, two raised three. to the power three. Okay. three, okay? So the, the, what it's doing is because maths, we always move, anytime we have a negative, we always try to move to a positive, okay? So 
to cancel out this, you know, this negative, all right, to make it positive, you have to now invert. You don't make it a fraction. So it will be 1 over 2 raised to the power 3, which will be equal to 1 over 2 times 2 times 2. Do you see that? Okay, because 2 raised to the power 3 is 2 times yeah. 2 times 2. Uh, and that will give us... 1 over 6. One oh, over two, two times two. Eight. That's uh, yeah. four. Uh, four times two. That's what eight. Come adding. All right. Okay, because I know most students do make that mistake, and you would see that answer in your option. So don't make that mistake of you know quickly just adding up and say six. No, it's multiplication. All right. Two times two is four, and four times two is eight. All right. Also, when it comes to exponents. There's also another rule that you must follow. Any number raised to power zero is equal to one. Any number, be it 100, be it eight raised to power zero is one, be it 1000 raised to power zero is equal to one. Okay, are you with me? Okay, yes, yes. You can call me back if you, if you don't understand. Can I go forward, everyone? Yes. Yes. Just one person. Can I go forward? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. All right. So now, look at this question here. Question one says, four raised to power one. What will I answer? Be? Four. Four. Good. All right. Because it's just four raised to power one. Now, look at number two. 25 raised to power zero. What would the answer be? One. One. Good job. Now, three raised to the power two. What would be our answer? Nine. Good. So we have three times three, which will give us nine. nine. All right. Now look at this. Negative two raised to the power five. Who can do so that? Negative, negative two times negative two times five times. Yes. So you, you're going to multiply this five times. Good job. Good, good. Okay. So when you multiply, what will be the answer? Somebody tell me. It will be six. It's going to be a if I know. Negative. It will be 12. You are multiplying. It will be eight. It will be 16. Okay. Um. Who has an answer for me? Don't use your calculator, please. Don't. Can we two twos? Is it 32? 32. Negative 32. Great job. Great job. Negative 32. All right. Because you have here. Hello? Any? Do you want to say something? No. OK. So you have here negative times negative. Okay, negative two times negative two. Remember, in our rules, when we have negative what? times negative, it's a positive. It's a positive. Okay. And when you have negative times positive, it's a negative. It's negative. Okay. <laughs> so negative two times negative two, that would two times two is four. Four so it's and positive. Negative times negative is positive. So now, neg positive 4 now times negative 2, that would be what? Negative. 4 times 2, that's 8, and positive times negative, that's negative. Now, negative 8 times negative 2, that would give us what? 2, 8 times 2, that's 16. 16. Times it'd, be a neg it'd be a positive. Then finally, positive 16 times negative 2. 16 times 2, that's 32. And positive times negative, that's positive. What? Negative. Negative, negative. Oh, yeah. Negative okay. and positive. So our negative. final answer is what? A negative 32. Okay. And we mute our microphone. Where's that noise coming from, please? Who, who is this? Let's mute our microphones, okay? All right. Uh, let me go back. Okay, so who can tell me the answer for number five?
Hello? That's, is yeah. that 16? 16 and okay. 16, right? Six, negative negative, so, negative so, 16. Yeah. No, not negative 16. Oh, it's, oh yes, it's positive. It's positive. positive 16. It's positive yes. because you have negative and 4 negative and a positive, times yeah. negative 4. So negative times negative is positive. Is, 4 yeah. times 4 is what? 16. Who can give me the answer for this? Number 6. Um, number six is that's one over three with a negative to the to the power of negative three. Another person? No, it's gonna be one under two uh exponent three. It's negative eighteen. Eighteen? Negative eighteen. No. Okay, let's do it together. So it's going to okay. be one, one, uh -huh. under, under three, exponent three. Okay. It's negative, but you have the negative though. It's negative. No, the negative is going to go, go off. Or go away. Negative okay. Three. It's it's gonna three. Go off. Okay. So from here now, we now have 1 over 3 times 3 times 3, okay? So, and what is 3 times 3? That is 9. And 9 times 3 is what? 27, okay? So our answer is 1 over 27, okay? Why you have the 1 over 27? Because we have a 1 here. This is mm -hmm. one over three times three times three, so it will yeah, still. Be... How you got the one? Be isn't it negative three? Yes. So if you were from the beginning, it's a rule that when you have an, an exponent with a negative power, it inverts. It becomes a fraction. Uh, okay, uh, so that the negative cancels out. You can see we now have one over three raised to power positive three. Okay. Uh -huh. Is uh -huh. a rule. Is a rule in exponents. Okay. Rule. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. So from here, you now simplify one over three. Three raised to the power three is three times three times three, then equal to one over twenty-seven. All right. Is now, a negative or a positive? Is that a negative, right? It's a positive. It's going to okay. be a positive because you have cleared it out here, so it's going to be a positive. Your answer so, will be positive. So question, the, the negative, isn't that negative 3, the power? Yes, it is. So it will automatically turn positive? Yes, after you okay. divide by 1, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Do you oh, see Oh, because that? you do the inverse, right? Yes, yes. Okay, exactly. okay. okay, got it, got it. Okay, so who can do number 7? I want everyone now to work on number seven to ten. Seven to ten. I'm going to give you uh, ten minutes. I'm going to give everyone ten minutes to work on number seven to ten. And please drop your answers in the chat box, okay? Okay.
Julie, why are you having one of everything, one of us, something, everything? Hmm? Check. Check your walk a bit, okay? Okay. Mm. Sherry Ann, also check your walk, okay? There are some places that you should have an answer that is inverted. Okay? Okay.
Okay, let's do it all. Let's do it together. Okay. And good, good. Everyone, you 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 your try was great. Okay, but let's do it together. Okay. Are you with me? Yes, let's go. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> go <laughs> so for this okay you know the power is negative so it will be one over negative two raised to the positive power do you see that yes so we're going to have one over negative two times negative, negative two. two and that will give us one over a positive four, four. correct okay yes great job everyone now here you have since the power is negative we do a one over negative three three, power. The power three. yeah that would give us one over negative three times negative three times negative three mm -hmm. and that would give us one over negative mm -hmm. three times negative three that's the positive nine positive. Positive 9 times a negative 3, that will give us a negative 27. Yeah. So this will give us a negative 27. So our yes. answer will be a negative 1 over 27. Oh, okay. so a negative 1 over 27. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Do you see that? Do you put the negative in the middle between like the middle yes. over... Like 1 and 27? Yes, it can just okay. be in front. Okay. 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 That's, that's fine. It can be in front, okay? Okay. So, yeah, since this is also a negative, it will be 1 over 10 raised to the power 3, okay? And that would be 1 over 10 times 10 times 10. And mm -hmm. that will give us 1 a thousand, over 1,000. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. So many people also did one over eight. You don't need to because the power here is positive. It's positive. So it's just going to be two times two times, times two. two. And that will give us what? Eight. 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 Yeah. Okay. So I only got one wrong, which was the, ne the I didn't put the negative sign for the 27 in the middle. It's okay. Well mm -hmm. done. Well done, everyone. Well done. Good attempt. Now, when you now have things like this, which the GED do bring, you know, they bring a lot of exponents coming together with negative, uh, subtraction, multiplication, division, addition. So the same way, the same rules that you've learned, you would apply here. Let's do the first two together. Now, this is negative 7 raised to power 1. What would that be? It will still be what? Negative be seven. 7. Then times, this is negative 3 raised to power 3. So that means we're going to do negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. And that will give us what? A negative 27. Okay? So now we'll now do a negative 7 times negative 27. What would that give us? I said nine, four. It's going to give you positive. 
okay? It's going to okay. give us a positive 189. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Look at number two. This is a negative 8 raised to the power 1. It will still give, give us a negative 8. Plus, this is a negative 1 raised to the power 2. Do you see that? Yeah. Negative 1 raised to the power 2. So that's a negative 1 times a negative 1. What would that give us? Yeah. That's a negative 8 Indeed. plus this plus. negative times negative will give us a positive 1. Positive 1. So that's you see a, that. So you open up eight, the parentheses. Nine is a positive one this is a negative eight what is a negative eight positive one negative huh is it negative it's going to be a negative one a negative eight sorry look at what i did what oh. is a negative eight positive one nine nine negative nine why are you guessing no is that Eight plus six will be oh negative seven. Good. Mm -hmm. Negative because seven. Because because the the negative eight is higher. So once the this is higher, you subtract. It's, no, no, that's not the rule. When you have negative and positive. Okay. Are you with me? You perform yes. subtraction. All right. You need to watch those two first videos. All right. When you have a negative and positive number coming together, you do subtraction. So you subtract one from eight. You have the your answer as seven. You have your answer as seven. Then you take the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number here is eight. So we take the sign of eight, which is what's negative. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. Please, I need you to, if you didn't follow the first two classes, please go watch that videos, okay? Because in maths, especially the algebra section, everything starts with understanding your signs, mm. how to do all these operations, because almost everything boils down to this, your slopes, your quadratic, your equations, inequalities, it boils down to this, understanding this, okay? Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Now, I want you to try this, number three to six, now. Everyone. Okay? Yeah.
I just see two people, Sherry Ann. I don't see your answer. Okay. Okay, let's do it together then. Well done, Anne. Well done, Jolie. Okay, well done. Are you with me? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it then. All right, so from here, this is nine raised to the power of two. That is nine times nine, right? Yes. And that's, that's 81. Minus oh. in parentheses, negative two raised to the power of one. Negative two raised to the power of one is still a negative two, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, and you have a negative here. 
So you have yeah. to open up this parenthesis. So negative times negative would be what a positive. positive. So you have positive two and you have 81. So we're going to add this. That's 81 plus two. And that would give us 83. 83. Okay. Well done. Well done. Okay. Now, look at number four. So seven square. That's seven mm -hmm. times seven. That's 49 times negative four raised to the power one, which is still what? Negative four. So yeah. that would be 49 times a negative four. And that would be a negative. If 196. Good job. Good job. Okay. Great job. Now look at number five. It says here negative two raised to the power of what five. Yeah. Now let me give you a trick. When you have you see this power here, when it's an odd number, uh -huh. all right, and there's a negative in the parenthesis, okay? When it, the power is raised to an odd number, your answer will always be negative. Negative, yeah. The final answer will always be negative, okay? So instead of you just thinking and trying to put the negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, once you know what 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is, you know that it is 32, then the sign, since this is a odd number, your sign will be what negative. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, look at this. So here, you will now have a negative 32. Then we have times, this is now negative 1 raised to power 83. There is no way everyone will be able to do this. We're going to stay till tomorrow to start doing you know, negative one times negative one up to <laughs> eight three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's, what's this question is trying to, what I'm trying to uh, teach here is once you know that the power is odd, okay, mm -hmm. once it's an odd number, your final answer will take a negative. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a negative one. So mm -hmm. a negative 32 times a negative one will give us a positive, positive. 32. Okay, look at this now. Yeah. This is 100 square. So that is 100 times 100, right? Yeah. And that is 10,000. 10, and it says divided. Okay, divided by negative 1 raised to the power 48. So you can see here, this is an even number, mm -hmm. right? So it means yeah. our final answer will be positive. Okay. Because once an even number is, it, so if it's an even number, it's going to be a positive. If positive. it's an odd number, it's going to be a negative. It's a negative. Okay. That's when you, when you multiply all the negative and negative and negative together. If the power is odd, it will be negative. If the power is even, it will be positive. All right. So here we now have a positive one. So our final answer here is 10,000. Okay. For the last Great. one? Yes. For the last one. The final answer is 10,000. Great um, job. Great job, Jolie. 10, I, can you do that back again, please? Okay. Please. No problem. Sorry. So, uh -huh. the last one, I said 100 raised to power <laughs> 2 is what? 100 times uh -huh. 100 right you, no sorry sorry it's okay you know what i did what uh, you know the number six? Oh, oh, I, you did <laughs> yes 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 i see, I I see. see. and well, number I, five i did the same thing i thought is a part of the math no 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 I, I, i'm sorry it's my fault i should have like ah uh, yes so that's right it's right okay it's, it's ten thousand yeah because of the one yeah well mm -hmm. done well yeah. done everyone okay great job everyone i have uh, <laughs> thank you so much no problem i have homework for you so mm -hmm. i would i hope we are all on the group i'm going to share this on the group now yes okay so i want everyone to work on this and share your answers on the group all right oh.
Okay. And, uh, okay and when we have to finish this for? Come again? When I, when we have to share the answer for? Um, Today, tomorrow, that will be fine. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you, everyone. All right, thank you. Thank have you. Thank you. Okay. See you in the next class. Thank you. Bye. Bye. When is the next class? It would be next week. It will be next week. I would, okay. share, I would share that information on the group. Okay. Yeah.